Hi, in this video, we are going to go through some typical computer applications. So, of course, computer applications are everywhere. Computers touch our labs hundreds of times a day. And uh, there are typically five categories of uh, computer usages. Like you can have the home usage, uh, small office, and home office usage, mobile usage, large business usage, and some power computing, powerful computing usage. Okay. And for the home music, you can use the web, web access, entertainment, communication, personal, you know, like uh, financial management, and personal stuff. You can use use the computer. So here shows you some important, uh, you know, computer applications for for personal usage. You have the uh, some video games and uh, some trainings. So here are also some Soho usages, like the local area network, productivity software, uh, specialty software, web usage, email, you know, like uh, uh, web conference, you know, so all, all, all of them are, you know, used for um, Soho usage. And here are some mobile usage, you can use a mobile phone or tablets or uh, computers to to work during business trip. Okay. Uh, here are some business uses. You can you can also have the web access, you know, telecommunication network production, um, scheduling, and some power use, including engineering, graphics, simulation, scientific calculation, CAD, CM, you know, like uh, the weather casting, you know, some uh, computer aided design. Uh, here shows you some virtual reality, virtual reality applications, uh, which has been used in uh, 2008 Olympic Games. So this is the uh, this is actually developed by our department uh, in 2008, and uh, it's uh, it has been used in the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games. So this is the virtual reality has been used in the national day uh, for the for the for the uh, parade. <coughs> So this automatic test applications, so computer applications actually has been uh, fully used in the industry. In automatic assembly. Uh, here are some uh, computer applications in the society, like uh, in the education, financial, government, healthcare, travel, publishing, all of them use the computer applications. You can go anywhere by booking the tickets you know, to, to manage your trip. So this is online uh, education, like uh, what I'm doing now. You can just uh, uh, like study your courses online. So you can go to Coursera, uh, or you can go to other websites to study the courses. Okay. And online shopping, of course. You know, I think you must be quite familiar with the online shopping. Okay, and um, um, remote healthcare. You can, you know, especially recently, you know, the more and more devices can measure the, the condition of the human body more precisely. So that gives the, uh, us the possibility to do the remote health care. So you don't even need to go to the, the doctors. You can just uh, log into your application and then your, the doctor can remotely, uh, remotely diagnose your, 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 your body situation. So this is a government website. So recently, more and more government uh, uh, department they put their uh, government related affairs online so you don't need to go to the the offline department to to do your business you can just uh, apply online so which is more uh, more and more convenient okay uh, we just uh, go through uh, many uh, different type of uh, computer applications i would say almost every aspect has been fully affected by the computer technology. So you can see the computer application anywhere. And that's why the computer science is so important that everyone should have some basic computer science knowledge. 